Welcome. This is Football Made in Ghana, another level episode on a Wednesday afternoon. My name is Bifentio Tahir Bifentio. Welcome to the show from wherever uh, you're tuning in from. Today on the show, we get uh, four things to talk about. So usually we get like one or two things. Today we get four things to talk about. First on the uh, agenda, we see right now the Black Stars, the GFAC, the, the, the Avengers, no? Uh -huh. The Fantastic Four, no? Uh -huh. Then they go take you go to the World Cup. So, Otto Addo, George Watson, Didi Dramani, and Chris Hutton, and the GFA give them a contract until December 2022. They sign contract till December 2022, which means that if we then wait and go take you to the World Cup in November, where they'll go play at least four Afghan qualifying matches two in June and then two in September. So, this be the bottom line as far as the World Cup qualifiers are concerned. So right now, after everything, we get confirmation say Otto Ado go lead Ghana to the World Cup. What should they make of that decision? And you see, you know, be permanent contract as we know. They say that they give them contract up to December. The same for people they take we qualify over Nigeria. So I really want to know if you figure say this be the best arrangement, or maybe like we for hire some permanent coach or something. So what really they go on for there? Uh, we will go talk about that issue. Master Santi Kotoko. Then they leave the table uh, at some point, like 12 points. Suddenly now, nobody knows. The first four, five matches, they win one out of 15 points. Kotoko pick up four pay out of a possible uh, 15. What they go on? And is there a real chance they ask for Govi catch up with them or make we forget? Well, right now, Kotoko get three away games in seven days. Three away games in seven days. Well, if they joke with those matches, where they don't get decent results, you go fee pie. So are they about to bottle it? Or what they go on for there? Hey, my good friends in Samra Boy, I really want to hear from you today. Congratulations, everybody, for Samra Boy. All the way in the Western region. After 26 years, Samatex are in the Ghana Premier League. What? Samatex. The coronation on June 12th, eh, me, at the camp day, at the camp Samra Boy. Uh, they can't some rubber. You guys try, like you force. With, with three games to spare, you finish. You finish. Like, congrats. Everybody in some rubber. You deserve this. You deserve this. The Premier League, Premier Division is finally coming to some rubber. You know, be easy. Then, Charlie, we're going to wrap up with Kofi Koji. Charlie, uh, how's the folks say they suspend Did they play FA Cup? Your man, they play Ramadan Cup. <laughs> Hey, Ghana, things they have, you know. So we'll go look at that issue as well. The show will be live and interactive as usual. The numbers there, your screen top. You go feel send me a message on any of the issues we talk about. If you're the watchers from Samurai Boy, I really want to hear from you. Or if you be somebody where you're from the Western region, the way you know about this team, tell me about how happy you are, say, then qualify to the Ghana Premier League. Because they're really forced, they're really forced. Wow. Uh, so we'll go talk about all of those issues here on the show. We'll go take some short break. When we come back, I'm going to introduce my guest. And then we go start the conversation here on Football Made in Ghana. Welcome back. This be Football Made in Ghana. Uh, like I talk, the people of Summer Boy, or oh, our boy. <laughs> hey, you boys for the Summer Text. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. All right. Let me introduce my guest. First one, I bring back my good friend, Achi Tamaklu. You guys like him here. Uh, he they bring all the short people problems for this country. So, you know, so always are they. And for, you see, for represent, you see, <laughs> me, I'll be very... We'll be powerful, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, go for joke plus, we like that. Uh, right now, if uh, we... We will not go contest the first day we shot, but we'll be powerful. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, right so, now. <laughs> be very careful yes, of your next comments. Yes, I have had that for me. Be careful. very careful of your next comments. You know, comments. make a guess. They say, where's are powerful? Once they go out, you can't take them back. Be... Yeah. <laughs> I'm finding that out for myself this week. Mm. <laughs> 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 on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Every time this man get agenda push, he the guy that should talk. Ladies and gentlemen, the richest man in the building, Daniel Cranting, I bring him back. If he hear anything, blast us. No. Slim then, Shady. Then he take care of him. Slim Shady. Shady. Uh, like Slim Shady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if he hear I blast us, then he excites. Charlie. Because Charlie, you say right now, you get new coaches. The, the, the Avengers. You say we get new coaches. <laughs> like, make them change them, we see. Uh, ah, they say you get Avengers. <laughs> so, uh, Charlie, so that'd be the bottom line. Welcome to the show, guys. Charlie when I first start, uh, CK, Akono, the Sakam, we get, okay, okay, we go bring, we go bring Milo. You know, work. okay, we go bring Otoado. When you say Otoado there, you know, make we give him 
trial basis or oh, give them two matches against Nigeria. Where we support them with George Watson, we support them with Didi Dramani, where we go break Chris Hutton, technical advisor, they call them the Avengers. All right, of Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. They right. come, they come to the tour that they qualify for the World Cup. They know we match you, but nobody to talk. But it's okay, that's not the point. <laughs> the point we say they qualify for the World Cup. All right. So I don't qualify for it, you say, oh, my job finish. So right now, if I go look for a permanent coach, prepare, prepare, say, ah, every day, today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Right now, yesterday, last night, like tips in the night, we all the bed, though. And GFA drop him. You see, they finish contract negotiation with those four, the same four people, where they agree contract till December. So they go supervise Ghana at the World Cup. We, all the Afghan qualified the day this year, we then go take care of them. Then my first task, be next week, Wednesday, today, today's day, today, today, one week from today, Ghana, they play Madagascar. Okay. That'll be my first game. Okay. All right? Those four, we know them already. Otuado, head coach. Didi Dramani, assistant. George Bate, assistant. Chris Hutton, technical advisor. DK, I mean, this be like the worst kept secret. In fact, uh, 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 we all expected this to happen. So, me, I don't really see where the shock is or where the surprise is. But then people, they talk, say, perhaps... Maybe then, they, especially maybe they will give them a longer contract. Maybe oh, yeah. two years to cover up to AFCON 2023. But they say the contract be till December pay. You see, the, the thing is, you know, they talk. Although I know Shana, they agree plus you. If you fact say they no win match, but also be fact say they've gone two games and beaten. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's all about yeah. perspectives. Yeah. Uh -huh. The glass go feel be half full yeah. from your angle. Two games and beating. Me, that be hard to see them. Yeah. We, then the sentiments, the time we they go the Niger game, we see we, we, we go break because yeah. that'll be straight after the Afghan one, our worst Afghan campaign ever. Charlie, we, we already expect it, Charlie. These Niger people go worry, especially the way Niger go Afghan way, then go, then go make noise. They go okay, I know small. Us, no, they know they know no, sport. I say sport is small. 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 Okay, group stage, group stage, group stage. Uh -huh, yeah, the sport there for the group stage. We make everybody figure, see, oh, Charlie, then be this thing. So then can't face we way. You see, you see, if you see the body of work, we. The Fantastic Four. Me, I know they like the Avengers. I like the Fantastic okay. Four. Okay. Uh -huh. Because one of them be invisible. You uh -huh. <laughs> You know they the bench top. Uh -huh. You be invisible. So I like the Fantastic Four. But Charlie, if you see the body of work we then do over the two legs, the Accra Kumas, um, Kumasi and Abuja, you go feel yeah. see Charlie. These big guys, we given a longer period of time, they go feel seriously improve this team. If you even listen to the interviews after the World Cup qualification, the way the, the players, they talk about them, the fact see they were in communication with most of the players, then very detailed tactical information. If you see, Charlie, like, the players were impressed. We, this big group of players would then be exposed to a lot of big-name coaches, exposed to a lot of big-name um, coaches, teams, systems. So if these guys go feel, talk to them, take them through some of these briefings, where they be impressed, if you see Charlie, then they do some certain level. Yeah. Where well, if it come the results, we got the results. As I said, two games and beating Nigeria no score we, where we take qualify to the World Cup. So um, it be something where, the, of course, me for me if I be the GFE, you know, the two year thing, I, I feel I feel say it be it be, be stretch. Mo could watch the the immediate uh, 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 head uh -huh. and then. We go tackle them, and the main thing, of course, is the people where they think we go the World Cup. So after the World Cup in December, they will go full review. If they force, I'm not sure, say uh, GFA go, go go hesitate in extending the contract. If they no force, we go feel uh, do some one or two changes, and then we move. But on based on based on a two-legged affair to give somebody two-year contract, I know she say sense really days. That be enough body yeah, of work. Yeah, it's, it's not enough. Well, if you watch what they do. Um, in terms of this uh, decision with the GFA make, I feel say it, it didn't make perfect sense, and it had to be announced quickly. Of course, I know say the people with and they involved they know already, but it had to be announced quickly just for we to be on the same pitch. But next Wednesday in game, Kuchop Madagascar without Kuchop we will score them. All be true. <laughs> Sleep shady. Oh, we'll ah, you, you forget say Madagascar go score there for Afcon twenty twenty one. They no meet we. They no meet Otuado there in team. They no meet we. Even they, they meet Nigeria. They and discipline. Oh, we score Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, the, yeah. one of the biggest issues, um, and in fact, even for one of our shows, Sports Panorama, it became a huge debate between me and my good friend, Coach Nimli, about the whole idea of permanency versus temporary coaches. Because even this arrangement, we then get to you know. You know, we say then give them permanent contract for, say, no. uh, for seven or eight months. No. That would be why. I, no. It'd be the same arrangement. Sort of work and pay. Yes, <laughs> work and pay, exactly. Work as you go. Because to add over the two games, they say they give them $30,000. So, you know, so right now, them all still go there, they are clubs. Yeah. Only when assignment come, 
and they will come back. From now to the December, we did talk about guaranteed matches where we know say they go play. They go play two Afghan qualifiers. They go play two uh, matches in Japan. Yeah. That's four. They go play another two qualifiers in September. That's six. We know say in September they go find friendly matches play yeah. to prepare for the World so Cup. Let's say, they, let's say even they get two, another two. That's yeah, eight. Please. The World Cup be how many matches? Three guaranteed. Yeah. Three games in the group stages. That be eleven matches for these people to play yeah. over maybe what seven month period. Mm -hmm. Eleven games over a seven month period where they no play with the team on a daily basis or they're not working with the team or working about the team on a daily basis they are preoccupied with other things how do you figure say this arrangement go work or it be much ado about nothing really about whether or not they be permanent or did they do the job full time or did they do other things you know they matter it they matter um under normal circumstance i go agree with the idea say you know if we give your apex coaching job in the country to somebody based on one or 80 minutes of work, right? You know, go free and trust the future of your national team into someone just over 180 minutes of work. However, we talk about this thing. We discuss the fact, say, when I schedule in the, la in the next 12, 16 months, no go allow we time to try anybody. Mm -hmm. So if we make appointment, we for consider that familiarity. Not, not just familiarity. We for consider someone where we say, okay, we are showing faith in this person, in methods, in ideas, in experience. Because we they believe, say, those competence, eh, if, they, if you introduce that into the context of one situation now, okay. it will provide the solutions give we long term. Okay. Both short to long term. And for me, that be what we for do. And that be what we should have done. Because, look, I know they agree with make a can't do them part-time. Three months. They make we see. If you don't go well, then you go... It, it be the mantra where we talk some time ago, no, we they do, no. In this? I know they, in this. Like, say, oh, how? can't do At least they don't say they are in charge no, until December. I, so they go do everything. So make I, I know they talk, say, that people be trying no. error. No. no but like people, the I concept they... of make a try and see if they were after World Cup, you know, after World Cup, you get what? Afcon qualifiers. No, Afcon itself. Oh, you mean after no, yeah, Afcon Ivory Coast? Yeah, yeah. It's in the summer. Yeah. For Ivory Coast. Yeah. You go talk say, oh, because there no force for World Cup, so make a sack them, then go bring someone, then try in to see if the Afcon you go far. Time no day like that. If but they show if you go bring somebody, can't give them long term so contract. Do, where you go share the work so do you do your due No, do your due diligence. Find somebody where you feel say. If they fetch the profile, you they search. You go fit deliver the results to you. Then back what the person. What if that person is Otoado? So back him long term. But what? But hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoever you but search along. But what? What be the difference between Otoado coaching the team now mm -hmm. with the conditions that exist? Say still go to Dortmund. Yeah. And if he left Dortmund, can get take two year contract. What be the difference in terms of his working methods? Will his coaching change? The difference be the time he go gets dedicated to this team. But the team because they meet, the times the team they meet, you know. No, you know the matter. You know the change. Oh. Look, a lot of people they, they forget about these things. We okay. know they talk some part time club job in there somewhere. Uh -huh. This will be the apex coaching job of the country. Uh -huh. You know, go tell me, say, oh, make, a, make it can't take him. On, when you know the international break, what the national team coaches they do? Are they then the job. No, yes, what? Then the job. Do? Like what? Then they go through profiles of players. Okay. Then they go through the methods where they feel, say, they go through rollouts. In the okay. next assignment. Good point. So then go so find the top, players. Good point. Make so a, make here's my follow-up question. No, you, uh -huh. you've explained what okay. they do. Yes. When it no be international break. Yes. Good. You won't tell me, say, what then they do, no? Or to, I don't know if you do so from Germany. You get divided attention. Because he has but a But the coaches you don't talk about it. You still yes. say if you still say Abraham Grant why, when friends, Abraham Grant can't be here friends, when you know the international say, break. Friends. You still say he only they think about blaster. That is the job. That is what he's supposed to do. No, but see, is that what's friends? No, make we no go there. So the coach is multi you. you don't say Abraham Grant the third time the coach blaster. He they he they, he they do friends. consultancy for others. For me, <laughs> for me, if we hire a national team coach, mm -hmm. one attempts the terms of engagement for BC twenty four seven. Your focus will be on the team. It be non negotiable. That you can say, oh, yes. but is that going no, to be the No, I don't talk this. This is my own. Okay. Yeah, you make a finish. Okay. I cannot, for the life of me, 
live with the fact, say, where the, these people, they come from. Chris Hilton, UK. Yes. George Watson, UK. UK. Uh -huh. uh, Didi Dramani, Norway, Denmark, now back here. Uh, Otuado, Germany. Do you, you want to tell me, say, that my countries go accept, say, that my apex coaching job, no? Maybe we find somebody where he gets some, some ala ala for some club side, but for the national so, team, no? We just so be you seeing inside so you can't do it. tell me, say, that people no. of Austria, they're fool. They're not going to tolerate that thing. So it all, won't be standard practice. Look, so they're all fans and all they're fool. Fans. The one they go give their job to Rannick. Rav Rannick, where he's still the consult give money, you know. Now, at the talk, say, you go feel fine isolated cases. But, I, I won't be isolated. But no, Thank there's you, a brother. look, friends. <laughs> if you look at the needs of one team right now, okay, you have a team that is on a downward spiral. You have a team, the, the key actors in the team are on their last legs, right? The key performance for when a last five or six tournaments, or a lot of them, if you check them a lifespan, they, they, they get like what between 24 36 months mm -hmm. with them for move on, mm -hmm. then play for the national team between six to ten years. Naturally, that cycle has to come to an end. You they need somebody who will go come in with fresh ideas, identify young players with a long term plan, and you go build a team give you for the future. I agree that with that. That not be something where you for take that somebody where it get divided attention. Look, as we did here. So you're divided attention in the talk, and it just it's just purely because you know on paper, friends, say he, they, they concentrate on players. other What we did now, eh? What we did now, we have a bargaining chip with the goal of the World Cup. Every single one of these coaches go love to take one a team there. Other coaches outside of this pool go love to coach a very talented group. Okay. A ver and you see, even beyond the players where we see for the Nigeria game, no, more players they. In the last 24 hours, with the hear of Frank Amuzu, Frank Amuzu, blah, blah, even blah. Even Tariq, just today, so, Tariq said make England a 21 no call out. But because the, he won't know. He, he said he won't clear a mind but, on in future. Fair. Exactly. Maybe a call out where you go play. So and with, for those who don't know, you be so called for national you, you, team. Make a bring so just to Daniel, conclude, you, you made with, your point. You in a situation you where if will be 100% in. Yes. No. If you want the team, show us the commitments now. Okay. Thank you. My simple question is here. For coaches who they execute them a plan on the field of play, if they play, yes, the players, if you only international football, if they play, yes, they play, as for they players, play they go for play club football, they the ideas of the international manager, and then execute them. Yeah. As you see, on evidence of what we saw in Kumasi and Nigeria, yes, in that limited period of time, because that time they, in, they involve negotiations first, convincing, yes. and then approval before they actually started work, yes. before they met with the players, in fact, selected players, yes. met with themselves, decided the players they were selecting, yeah. selected players, uh, infused them with the ideas, players grasping the ideas, going on the pitch, mm -hmm. and getting the results. That limited period of time, where they go to do that body of work, mm -hmm. you go to show we see. You don't need, you, you don't need, it'll be every day. You don't day. need to stay at Ali. See. I understand, I understand where I understand where actually they come course. from in that school of thought. I, I perfectly understand that school of thought. But you see, football and life in general, we move past, you know, be like day to day. I can sit in Germany you bab. and I can be chatting with somebody, detailed conversation, somebody where they landed. I don't need to have you see, and the the, the job way uh Otuado get, the job way what in the column? George uh, Didi, George. Chris. Chris the E D. Yes. Chris the E D. Uh huh. Yeah. Then go fit easily, and you go shock you say. Then go fit easily come out with some perfect working schedule. Where Chris where you no know, get anything do. E they do maybe majority of the key things. Maybe Otwado will tell him what exactly he need. Then Otwado will fo focus on Dortmund work. If he finish, I go come. Then Chris will bring him the report. It it you no know, be problem for them. Yeah. And you see, if the results where he they justify everything. Where if they were able to get the results. My problem is, I don't see how if players, somebody like per the normal international schedule, we're supposed to have the World Cup in June. So what it means is that Saturday will be Champions League final. By next week, we'll probably have had like one week break for the players. Then they start international training. Yeah. And then by mid-June, the World Cup will start. In fact, first week in June, because yes. it's usually 9th, 10th. First week in June, Egypt, they play them at first match. Salah, they, everybody, they play according to instructions. How they be human beings, they yeah. are smart, they've been exposed to these things. Yeah. So, you know, we say coach go feed there, you know, he they need 10 years before he go feed, figure out what he and that's the they thing. know exactly what exactly. they want, they know the players they are working and besides, with. And besides, I, I get a question for you both. Okay, go on. Why, if it, it be that simple, why is it that more of the national teams in the world no try this method? Because 
per, from what you did talk, it will be less expensive to roll out. Such right? a plan. Yeah. If the person they do am part time, it means the resources where you go spend on them in maintaining them on the contracts significantly also go reduced. You see. Let me well, see. The, the, the answer the, be simple. There are examples. Most of the, most okay. of the, yeah, not the, the, most of those countries we they talk about all around the world, mm -hmm. they know they go for coaches. They, they know they go for coaches <laughs> when they be engaged already. Somebody <laughs> where they photo. You know, say if auto I don't they photo, I will not take them. Available photo, I will not take them. We should take them. The only issue be say, we got to him at a point where. Then in situation, it be circumstances. Yes, it be circumstances. It don't be say this be one Make ideal you, situation. See, I, and I agree see, with you. That's what then they won't hold on to them at all jobs. It's like one foot through the door, one foot outside. No, it least is least sign of trouble. Then they true. jump out. In Otado's case, see, 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 in Otado's case, you mm -hmm. see why I don't fault him one bit. No, because in Otado's case, then he did Dortmund already. He had signed a contract that still had two years running, and he says, "I go feel help." But at the moment, I want to be a man of my word and oh, see out my see. contract here. Hold on. Let's not misunderstand. No, no, don't misunderstand. He has said that. He said that in an interview. I'm no, not, I'm not talking about I'm, I'm just saying that. So, what so, so you're so saying suggests yes. I'm misreading his position. No. Yes. You see, I understand his position. Yes. Mm -hmm. And my reading so of the Dortmund... So, it's for you to move on. And they come. Uh -huh, my reading of the Dortmund situation be such that in the next 24 months, if he play in Cartwell, there may be a vacancy for the main job. So for his ambitions, it makes sense to try to hold on to that one. Similar to George Watts and similar to Didi Dramani. For us, we need to look at our situation and look at what we need and, look be, and, and tell ourselves in the face that, look, look, this is not what we want. If we want these guys on board, take them on for So time. here's my question. Here's my question. One last question on this. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have the current arrangement in succeeding or the, la the permanent one like we had in the last two that didn't work out. Which situation you would prefer? If these are the guys we want, let's take them on full time. That's okay. my answer. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, I should tell my colleagues. <laughs> that would be in point there. Uh, all right. I don't know about you at home. Or what should they make of the, the announcement? Uh, Totoado, Didi Dramani, George Watson, and Chris Hutting. Um, they signed contract until December 2022, but they still maintain their current job. The arrangement remains the same. They go do the blast out alongside what then they do. They go take me to the World Cup. They go play four African qualifying matches and what have you. So right now, they they be the one of blast stars coaches. So no more issue of referring to them as interim blast stars coach. <laughs> that one I pass. Right now, I be blast stars coach. So when will they see the squad? You say, hey, what can I say more? The invisible squad. Shall <laughs> they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, to add the down the they say one well, be invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, <laughs> it'd be like they bring some strategy. See, the match is seven days away. Seven days away. The team they start they, they start training this weekend. On Sunday, May May 29. We don't <laughs> right now, that'll be the practice see, going forward. Some of the people, see that squad some of the people with the here make them no come. Yeah, make like, who? Like Wakasu, make them no come. Nah, nah. I know somebody where he go die See, if you hear what God mean. Make, make them not come. I, I know exactly and somebody. See, this things not be personal. <laughs> you don't play since October. You don't be active since October. Yeah. I don't just say even what Cassie himself do one play because he don't play football. Keep. Make we respect ourselves. But see, even before Afcon, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. And since Afcon, and five we take him go Afcon, just go sit bench, yeah. waste in, ta in time, yeah. waste we two one at a time. Okay. Good job. Please let's respect, uh, respect ourselves. Actually, <laughs> uh, we go do what cut the coin in a bit. I make I just get this one out of the way. Um, Kofi Koji, eh? <laughs> Charlie. The guy scored seven goals in the Ghana Premier League in his first 11 matches or so. Since then, he don't play. Kofi Koji still be like, <laughs> he's still there like top 10 scorers. But the, the Ghana Premier League is that. Uh, uh, but uh, on the day, uh, House of Folk, they played the MTN FA Cup semi final against Dreams FC. Kofi Koji was not in the squad. Okay, so no, no starting eleven, not even on match day squad. So he decided, to, okay, you don't want me there. I guess on gala play. Where he go, Fadama go play <laughs> Sharbu to cup. Then he destroy. <laughs> ah, we community said that he did play for. <laughs> Is it Nima or Mambo? One of them. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't know. But he go play. Eh, we Charlie has a football. Why not? They say they suspend him for two weeks. Charlie, uh, at you, you get all the inside fellow on this. Honestly, eh, what's going on with Kofi Koji? Because it's when he started the season, yeah. He didn't play well. Like, suddenly, he's out of the team. Now he's just acting up. It's been an ill-fated spell um, because the incident they come from all over. Impersonal mistakes. 
mistakes made by a manager or representative, whatever, and all of that be the reason why we did here. Because, I mean, the appearance in that game, like if it not happen, mm. and the normal circumstance, on the day where the team they played the FA Cup match, like if for be part of the squad. Of course. But he had been ostracized because of some things where it happened before. And just as you talk, it didn't make sense that all of a sudden then take him from the squad inside because now yeah. he fired. Well, he started the season well, yeah. to be honest. I mean, I think seven well. goals in 11 games yeah. at that time. Now, and Hearts at that time, now they don't get goal scorers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even now, if you check the goals, the goal tally yeah, of no it be now where Banya get double, yeah. uh, double digits. Apart from in Obin Junior, no, they score. Um, Benjamin York, York, you know, work out well. It's one thing, no really play games even to score. As it means but, the floor. Charlie, but the long and short, we say he engaged in some conduct with the club, they feel, say, you know, be consistent with what the values that he represents. He, some of the utterances about some key personalities in the club, we, the club, take exception to. So, it be part of the reason why now he know they play. Right from that, because is there a know, way back for him, or is this a maybe it. at the end of the season they just go let make it go? Maybe next season, but I feel say and then the same coach. The issue not be with Boydu, okay. And the, the issue same be with management. management. Yeah. The issue be with the club, right? <laughs> and I feel say he himself, then the club need to sit down and be very f have a frank conversation because okay. the quality he gets, it not be quality way for the bench. If Kofi Koji becomes available, yeah, yeah, yeah. if Kofi Koji becomes available tomorrow, it is starting every Premier League club in Ghana. I, I don't doubt including it. Including Kotoko. I don't doubt it. It is start everywhere. But no club also wants to deal with the shenanigans if they come with players like him. Hmm. And honestly, we don't see this thing come because this no be Kofi Koji. I feel maybe the frustration. Uh, it would be the fresh so long story short, in and the club for sit down, if you know be part of the my plans for the future. Terminate that contract okay. or find a way of terminate. He himself needs to do some introspection because some of the things where he lead to this be very avo avoidable. And he is responsible for everything where he happened. So from in in your trances, in attitude for training, the incident he happened in the Lugon City's match, the staff, in agents go talk. Be things where if if for check because look, which agents are you talking about here? <laughs> in, 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 so so that be that be the thing. You know, in, 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 in lady uh, manager, nah, nah. yes, for yeah, yes. So, look, clubs at every point in time or at some point, coaches go drop players for whatever reason. In the end, the coach be directly responsible for the results and the output of the team. So, if the coach feels say the player for tab bench, you for you for understand as a footballer, if you know they agree. Have your conversation plus the coach. Make yeah. you say this thing. Yeah, I know they're very professional. We are uh -huh. I know they bab or I know they agree. So I feel so if you explain to me or whatever be the case. But the the club and coach they discuss football matters on the pitch. Then you then your people too they talk about those things. Something else that sort of just generates some controversy where it they destroy the club. And at the time where the club really it they struggle be something mm. no club go love yeah. do plus that thing. Yeah. So. Beyond okay. the conversation, if for get plus the club, because look, I they like him. You know, go feel waste that talent. He too for do some introspection with himself, and then the people and around them find a makeable yeah solution. Okay, I have him a dropper. That be the bottom line. You hear everything. Your manager they watch. So Charlie, sit back, do some introspection, some deep reflection, and because at the end of the day. Your career is at stake. It's very, yeah. very important. You know, yeah. you don't want to waste that because he's a very talented goal scorer, and we all like him. And um, he gets to some points where that team they struggle for goal self. Shall but they are very goal scorer. <laughs> they know they play out. Then you know, say that team really, they really catch fire. Anyway, uh, we we'll go take some short break. When we come back from this break, I go read some messages for you. Then we we'll go switch to Kumasi and Tukotoko. Explore why they have picked up four points from a possible fifteen in their last five games. Welcome back. This is before we made in Ghana. We did on the last leg of the show. Uh, the show. My name is Fentu. I'm here with Fentu. Daniel Kranti, Achu. Tama Kulubi, my guest. Kumasa Santu Kotoko were comfortably riding on top of the Ghana Premier League until they go out to you. They go where they shift them. 
And they come home, can't play League One Citizenship them. Where they go play off, I say, okay, okay, they're back, they score. They come back, lefty late, if you starts, then tear, one one. Last week, last Sunday, they play at home again. Where <laughs> they come Chelsea can't ship them. They're my home alone. Top of my head. I know they can face I ship them. Legon City ship them. He dropped Bekum Placidiana. Bekum Chelsea ship them. <coughs> at home. With them drop Placidiana. In fact, since them beats, uh, since that penalty for yeah, Kumasi know. against us, <laughs> they, won't, they don't win any league game for Kumasi. What did they try to tell me? Might be true. I'm just telling you what happened. See them at form. Let me show you them at form <laughs> right now. Uh, at the moment. Because um, it, it's not looking good though. It really is not looking good. There you go. Confirmation of there is only one green. The rest of <laughs> The rest of all be red. <laughs> eh, the, the rest of all be red. I, I really know the bab, what they call. Anyway, so <laughs> right now, the point difference be six. At but the then point, get outstanding match. Then it be 12. Right now, then get uh, some three games in the space of seven days. Mm -hmm. Three games in the space of seven days, including Ash Cole, Sharks, and I think. Some other game like Olympics. That. Then we'll play, they play. Then come Olympics. Yeah, then we we'll play Ash Gold on second. Yes. But before that, then we we'll play Mediama this Sunday. And, Ma, and Mediama will be the one behind them. Behind and them, the yeah. point difference is six. Yeah. So if Mediama beat Kotoko, three points. For Takwa, three points. They haven't won there in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yes. They haven't won there. And every game there will be controversial. Very controversial. <laughs> every <laughs> Kotoko <laughs> game for <laughs> Takwa will be the, controversial. The customary penalties. Uh, are you? Yeah. How has it happened? Last, I think, there was a time uh, two or three weeks ago then where they discussed the way we showed the RTU the game. We see issues. some passing. Yeah. was similar to the, the Legon City's goals match, as well. The Dreams games. The Dreams games. Yeah. I remember that one. Even in the Wapa but, game. Uh, even beyond the tactical patterns you did see, yeah. there has to be something else happening with the team because is it injuries that or is it... Com some people say it be no complacency. It no be complacency. Oh. But why? Mbela and Mfege, they carry the team. A lot of mediocre performances have gone unchecked. That's From a those two, or you mean the whole team? From the rest of the team. Oh, so, but the others were just saving them. Yes. And the reality, be, if you check the consistency in Mbela and Mfege, they're my performances, the others know the few matchup. Under normal circumstance, if these guys, they supply the goals give you, you foresee the significant contribution of one or two of the other players. Last season, Gamma not scored a lot of goals. No. But we see the impacts from him. He was even, changing games even, without scoring. Yes, mm -hmm. even when in teammates they mess up chances, when Gamma gets the ball, they see the difference in the intensity they bring to the team and the sheer quality, right? They, they convert. Maybe the silliness we talk about. Yeah. That penalty, Asma go consider against RTU. What was he thinking? Unnecessary. So unnecessary. Oh, and you see, sometimes you they check... The referee in position, the distance between the referee and the action spots, and how this is. But later we can't see, say, perhaps Asma get in a motivation where he take us that penalty because of the issues with Prospanati and the subsequent and this suspension. was before. It'd be part of the incidents where it lead to <laughs> ah, his suspension. No. So, but the point that they make be say, too many of the players this season no step up. Look, if you they talk about the guys. We really do. So you say too many of the players. One is in yellow there. Yes. <laughs> Dana De Bruyne. And the guy they say if you come catch black. Look, is it not look <laughs> we for be serious in this country. What is this? Ah. Look, we for be serious about some. Is it that noise? That noise he died down. <laughs> we for be serious it? about some of these things. A lot of the guys where people they hype up for the Kotoko team, they no step up. This is, and I feel say they miss Fabio Gama big time. Mm -hmm. They miss the in the Fabio Gama similar to the. But when they no get and they win and open a twelve point lead. It so be the it be the. Work of Mfege and Mbela. Okay. It, take the goals alone. Let's just, let's just go through the goal contributions. Mm -hmm. Mbela get 19. The two guys get 19, yes. Uh, yes. And then Mfege get what? Six. Six. If you take those away, Okocha get how many? Three. All season. Wow. Okocha get three all season. In fact, the Kotoko, the start of the moment, the momentum the team gathered from the beginning, was all because Snad and get some 18 year, 17 year old way in the win game. Isaac for them. Yes. Mm. And you see, what we all forget at that time, we say, Kotoko at that time were not playing football 
that was superior to all the He was a game changer. Yes. He really yeah. was a game changer. He, he just, they come, he didn't make the difference. And you see, at that time, Mbella and Mfege had no started team. scoring, yeah. Unfortunately, as the camp they upon us, I think that problem was not fixed. And you see, sometimes it's not the, the creativity. So you're saying that the team... It's not just creativity, just leaders who assume responsibility and win games for you. It's a long season, 34 games. Yes. You will go through a cycle of top up where, where the team don't really they play well. But if you get strong characters in the team, then go win games for you. And share the responsibility. Because look, sometimes the weight of expectations, it will be overbearing. Yeah. Check the rest of the goal scorers in the team. Richmond Lantis played 19 matches, he scored two goals. Mudasiru, 23, he scored two goals. Mudasiru, yeah, you know they score a crowd. You know they score. He's never been a scorer. So you know they are so safe. It'd be what, be it'd be what have they come to? Look, at a certain point, some of these players to for add value to them again. Right? Well, it's not enough just to be press resistant no, no. or driving the and, and you see, if you look at the dynamics of the Kotoko team, eh, the guy who were in the crates for the team last season and at the beginning of this season, he hurt in no day. Dama. So then the team needed somebody to do that, to bring that stardust in the middle. Richard Lamte, everybody thought Lamte could do that, but clearly he can't. Lamte be very do good. Do they have too many similar midfielders, in no. your opinion? No. So Mudasiru, Lamte, Sheriff, Agadas. Perhaps. Perhaps. But one other I feel thing. like Sheriff one and Agadas other, be see, very similar. Yes. One other thing where you know work also be, say, um, that not really helped them be. The signing from Brekum, Chelsea. Amankona. Okay. Where you know work out. Right? Yes. Amankona. Because the assumption was that. Down. The assumption was that Amankona go free supply double the gates give them. If not in the league, in the whole season, season. in accumulated numbers. Right? But that not happen. Instead, what we see, and you see, if you check every period of Kotoko, them are rotting around the form. If the key figures with any disappoint. So check the period when they lost to Kim Faisal, draw plus RTU in the first round. Who was it? Ganyu in mistakes, in red card, and all of that way, it caused the team. Right? Yeah. Within this particular period, too, I mean, even back then, Agadas, he go chop the red card in that game versus Karela. Or was it Gold Stars in that game? Even in this, in the last couple of games where we see, check the mistake that le that it lead to. I mean, they also say that in that round they've been unlucky. Since being no, one of those, no, me, me, I feel no, say friends. Okay, make okay. like that. I, I feel say it be a combination of different things, but um, I feel it's, it's it's largely due to. I know we talk. I know we talk. See them be unlucky. The guys up front they disappoint. I feel say if you watch Kotoko in last three games, where you look, watch the big chances then they miss. It really it took has been guilty. Yes. You have it a good a, point. It took means two penalties yeah. before Idiana equal. True story. That was three points. True story. If you watch a Brekum Chelsea game, he missed literally an open pool. Yeah. The teammates were complaining. Yeah. Look, where, you know, you know, that's just, just the two that are coming to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The teammates missed, were complaining. Look, Why no pass the They ball? missed quite a number of big opportunities. When me a few say, you go back two months or you go back six weeks, these were chances that they go put them away and it's done in that state. As for Kotoko, they are defensive rules. It's did there from the start of the season. Mm -hmm. So I feel say if we be right now where they come over concentrate on them, it will be a bit too unfair on the team. Because if it's something where it did, mm. then they then they feel patch them up. Yeah, and you know we yeah. say then they lose games, then they concede three, four. No. They are losing by the odd goal. Yeah. So I feel say them attacking threat that was the, the paramount of their game, the, the, the key aspect of their game. In the, in the affect them these days. The fact say them be unable to put the ball in the back of the net because honestly, if you watch the games, then they create opportunities. The opportunities mm -hmm. are there. They are chances that they should be finishing, but some way somehow they are unable to. Yeah. Where if you watch the, the the fine details, the minute details, if you see, if the guys were under normal circumstances, they were the reliable ones to put the ball in the back of yeah. the net. They were then they disappoint. In Fergie and in in, 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 in in Bella, especially in Bella, because by now look. Those two penalties, I'm saying these are six points that they could easily have. Even in this game, there's no reason why Kotoko should have drawn they this. They should not have drawn this game no. at all. At all. And that, no. even, because even, they get chance after. Look at They you get chance after. Two penalties. Two penalties. Two penalties. I mean, midway through the second half. You score this one, it's 2 0, it's done in that state. This is a game where Kotoko totally dominates. Maybe those things where you go play, uh, you know, say your opposition will get one chance. Yes. So either just score two. Yeah. Then do a last minute, literally like the only chance where Idiana gets, Idiana takes score. That one, 
I, it'd be very unfair on, in games like this and go turn around and blame the coach. They talk say be tactical. I was just going and, to come to that. I, I, How much of this is put? Uh, the, look, the, here they talk say it be Professor Nates for you for what I'm. I don't. I don't. I think it's an this is another clear penalty. penalty. You see, two penalties. This one to he miss. No, Where another thing yeah. to be the mentality. You see, with a do I'm like. Then they in some bubble or some shell where they know they or they know they understand what they happen. It be like today today in world inside be very different from the end times what they happen. Yes. What do they talk about with what the players they hear? They today know. Three months ago, whoever they thought you asked for this league, they could win already. Wow. If, they, if they play into their minds, mm. then they feel say, oh, then so the complacency is it's setting by all means. You know yeah. what you tell me, say no setting, it's setting. Well, if you watch whether consciously honestly, or unconsciously, even if you if you were, and that's that'll be one of the agree plus uh, 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 actually in point. If you watch the their form before this dip, you go first say that it be in Bella than in Fergie in the force, especially in Bella. Yeah. And you could tell that he was playing for a record. The rest of the team, they feel say they win the league already. Yeah. So whatever will happen, will happen. Because if you check their points gap there, they were they were look, they were gone. They were mm -hmm. it was that very true. But he you know he won't score. If they pre the lead two 0 he won't score another yeah. one. He won't score another yeah. one. He they play given record. What if you see say players start they play for individual accolades like that? Then it means say the team in achievement has already been done. Yeah. The yeah. Where all of a sudden they start to lose games, and it's very difficult to snap out of that complacency into serious mood, yeah. especially when you become very by that time, it'll be too late. It'll be too late because yeah. others they, 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 they exactly. already because if you even watch the Wafa game, we discussed some for here. Yeah. There was no reason why. Look, I'm, I'm very shocked that Kotoko escaped that game with three points. The clarity of chances, oh, yes, Wafa, Wafa had yeah. great <laughs> opportunities in then that they are toxic. If Wafa had in Bella, that game before one, but Wafa. you see, this be, the, this be the period the other. Guys in the team for sure we say you know be in Bella them they carry the team even though we know say be them the right now in Bella they go national team they go miss like three games mm -hmm. the league they don't go winner I have no doubt the league they don't go winner the but issue. then for no Sale, when they look at the games he left no. yeah. look the teams look. behind them no because Kotoko they need just six go. points out of the next four to win the league then go, then go win. yes they are likely to lose in Takwa to Mediama but after that game they, they play. What? Olympics they say they're going to win for. Home. See, they have two, they have three away games. In those three away games, there's not a single Thanks. game Akra Lions. where I go put my finger on and say they're going to win. At the same time, you, even if you, it's not Lions, it's Olympics. No, they'll play Olympics, then Accra Lions. Yeah, but, but listen, no. Uh -huh. There is, so this is the order. Yeah. Don't get it wrong. Okay. So, Media. Takwa away. Uh huh. Olympics, Ash Gold. Ash Gold in the sure. Olympics. Ash Gold in Obasi, then yeah. Olympics in Accra. Which I'm of saying these three that, matches go, go I'm win? saying that Kotoko needs win. just two games to wrap up the league. Huh? They just six, six points. I, even if, I, I don't even if you be left the I'm last two games. Oh, fans. I don't know why they do long. Even if you left the dimension. Look, even okay. if you left the last two games, then go win the league. In that crisis, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just champion. I'm just saying that. You see, sometimes you go win the league, but now, you know, if you celebrate that thing because Charlie. The way the thing goes, you know, be how you envisage them, right? And I think this is what Kotoko fans do right now. They like they don't go win them, but we just need the other actors in the team, especially in the absence of Mbela, because I think we will miss like three games or two games yeah. Yeah. on national assignments. Whilst the league will be ongoing, you need those players too. Just even if it be draw, make them get them. Mm -hmm. Even if it be drawing those two games, make them get them, and then you show a point just for the last games against Accra Lions. And I think. The final home game. So the league there, then go get them. Yeah, okay. There is no need to panic. What the only thing we say, we all they admit say Charlie, then feel do better than what they, they do. Yeah. That be the disappointment. But it no be a situation where it be so that where we go talk say oh if guys not taking they go lose the league no. You see the thing to be say you for consider the chasing pack. Yeah. The chasing pack then go win four games. I mean that's oh. it. Because in fairness, how is it possible to see Kotoko go drop eleven points? points. In five games, and still have a six-point six point lead. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. They, it's unbelievable. With a game in hand, mind. With, yes. With a game in hand. With a game in yeah. hand. In Takwa. But this, this matter, they funny me. <laughs> you know why they funny me? The time the Kotoko player work the break room Chelsea yeah. player, in teammates they snitch the referee say, see, 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 see. Uh -huh. They don't know, say, but see, they didn't know their teammate was about to be stopped. Uh -huh. So they have 10 or where you see the retaliation, where you send them. But, but see, when I fought, see this chance like when this. When Assistant referee saying, You see, and this was one nil. Yeah, this is a clear opportunity yeah, with a man who scored this to be one. Scored this to be one. This is a 10 man Chelsea. Simple. No, it was then you still lose. It was still 0 0. Yeah, this, I seen if you score, that'd be one nil. And this is Ganyu, man. And look at the finish. 
They, they get one chance. They and finish. You, you know the thing about this Kelvin boy? The three away games or Brooklyn Chelsea win all season, if you need to supply the goals. I see. Yeah. Kelvin Danso. Charlie? Very good player. Very good player. Look at him. With 10 men, oh. Charlie. Mm, yeah. Anyway, but but the man coach so, try. Uh, this has been his first time coaching in Ghana. He's coached in uh, I think Swaziland. Who? Yes. Brickham, the Brooklyn Chelsea coach. Uh, uh, forgot forgotten his name. But uh, this has been his first time coaching Ghana. Although he's a Ghanaian, he's done his work in Thailand and then in Swaziland. I think hey. Swatini. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's coached Morocco Swallows. Uh, then before. the not be how would I tell you? Not be small long green rice in the feed the players <laughs> for the Thai rice. Everybody will be special. Um. <laughs> Yeah, here's the bottom line. Kotoko, just win the league, okay? Just win the league. Because some people do some place, they say they, they, they can't win the league. <laughs> just win the league. Who? Who they call them? Please, I say right. some people. If you people, they will mention it. If you outside noises. Eh? They know they're the club inside. If you alone, they do. <laughs> I will go drop points for Takwa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is no be small pressure. No, Takwa, they, Charlie. No, the Takwa, they, it'd be likely to say them goals, but the league, they don't go in now. Yo. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, we could so look at one uh, <laughs> last article before we move on. Before that, uh, make I read some messages here first. Um, this one says, um, is it, uh, all right, here. It says, so if Chris Hilton is free and doing nothing, why not give him the Black Star substantive job? That'd be a message from Simon uh, Millipak. This one says, good afternoon, thank you and the entire team. I think of you coaching and his management should sit down with Hassafo and terminate his contract. Uh, his style of play doesn't match the one with Samobodu. And he said, My name is Abeka inside Tema Community 2, J County. More messages. This one says, Fence, the idea of hiring four top class individuals to the apex national side of our football team is very disturbing. The running example that you guys smuggle in is an isolated case which should not even excite anyone arguing in favor of GFA's current arrangement uh, for the Black Stars. Ranik is the only one out of the entire bench who might be dealing with two different assignments at the same time. The rest of his assistants shall be working on a full-time basis from the, for, for the Austria national team. In our case, we're hiring all four coaches for the Black Stars on a matri macro basis for a time spanning seven months. Which serious world nation does this? Ah, he says. Thank you. A month for two before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you raised some legit points in there. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't see your name, but yeah. Next time, add your name. Very important. You raised some legit points uh, on there. Um, here, one last thing. Uh, the Ghana Premier League, as you are aware, the GFA go Congress, they go decide, hey, Charlie, some things they happen under your nose. You know this year. When the GFA go Congress, 2019 October, mm -hmm. They agreed for their say there were some outstanding legal issues. Those legal issues involved clubs who were fighting their relegation. Mm -hmm. Those two clubs were Kinfasa Olympics. So they say, okay, we want a fresh start. So what do we do? We Those them. people, maybe we just bring them. Can't add the league. We got 16 teams already. Maybe we get 18. Then the following season, we go relegate five. Then we go promote three. So say we go be back to one 16 team league. Okay, correct arrangement is working. It's working. The following year, they go Congress. The club say, "Hey, the <laughs> five relegations, we please. Know like. You know, we know like." Young Kobe Bia. Young So we will maintain them like that. <laughs> so right now, officially going forward, we get 18 team league for the Ghana Premier League. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So, which means. And this is the and see that is the issue. And this is the issue. Now the division one, you see that so it makes the division one people to so way. Because now <laughs> okay, more opportunities for them. Because bottom line, the people like they go relegate with the candidate the fighter, right? Now they don't go can't fight them again. So <laughs> it's good for them. <laughs> if you go with zone three, but last season and give us gold stars. Bibiani. Gold stars. Gold stars. It looks like they're right. staying. And it looks like they're staying. This season, they, they can't give us another new team. And see, gold stars was fresh. That's why I'm emphasizing on them. We never hear gold stars in the Ghana Premier League before. Fresh new team in the GPL. This season, the zone has given us another fresh new team 
in the form of Samatex FC, formed in 1996 by the Samurai Boy based wood processing company by the same name, Samatex. Pipa, 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 then qualified to the Ghana Premier League. The first 11 matches, they considered one goal. In the first round, out of 15 games, they lose one. Phenomenal. And it, it says a lot about planning. Credit to <coughs> Mr. Edmond Aqua. The time they can't play the Division One Super Cup for here, summertime no go back. Yeah. They stay for Accra for two weeks doing training. They finish, they take go there, they continue pre-season for another week, start the season. Before they started the season, Samatex gather all the my supporters. Before, before, Danny K, they were one of the most notorious yeah. teams in that division, <laughs> noted for beating other teams. Yeah. The new general manager, Kawe, called me to He said, please, if we are to qualify, we will be the epitome of peace. We cannot use violence to qualify. And you know the funny thing? The business development manager, Paul Enyaba, uh -huh. he is a victim of beatings. <laughs> the, <laughs> the <laughs> summer tax tax force. Yes. Last season, the time he described... Because he was in a different team. Yes. The yes. time he described FC. <laughs> yes. Then visit him. <laughs> where, they, where they initiate him nice, very, very nicely. Then show him the tradition. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then beat him. That'd be the longest. Yeah. Then so he switched him. Switch yeah. We are now in the for peace. But you see, the, Where you the, go, this guy can't slap, slap. The, the projects <laughs> we see over the last four years have been fantastic. I mean, yeah. as if you, you watch Before the, you even make your point, what can you hear from the man himself, uh, Egg Monaka, the general mm -hmm. manager of Samatech, telling us what qualification means for the people of Samurai? Before the qualification, the Lord mm -hmm. has been discussed by, with the owner. He wants to make turn this town to a, a home of football. He wants the community to be a football community. He wants Samaboy to be known as a football community. You know, this part of Ghana, you, there, 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 there's no much entertainment in this town. And he wants us to turn the, uh, the community into a football community. First thing, aside the qualification, he wants us to, to run a women's football, a youth football, a juvenile football. He wants us to add all this in, uh, into, into the premier Chief status and what is that? we are not just going to the premier division because we want to be part we want to play in the premier division we want it is either we come here to stay or we don't come at all that's right either we come to stay or we don't come at all uh at you yeah. you know this thing very well you are in the western region yeah. uh, and i think the it's easy to ident to look at what they do the structures the company the people they appoint yeah. and be excited but as Michael, um, Mike Tyson says, when you take the punch, that'd be when the game plan Everyone goes has out a of plan the until you until get punched punch. in the yes. face. So as they lose Bismarck, we mean to Karela. Now with the wedge, see what they do. Wait and bring the promotion specialist yes. mm -hmm. into a ditch them. Mm -hmm. But what they do, they go find Henry Wallington, very experienced coach, yes. kept the core of the team, and just decide, say, maybe we just stick to the plan. And you see, if they tell you, say, the plan be beyond the individuals they bring, yeah. the blueprint they make we stick to them, show commitment, and it be some small, small boys. Sorry yeah. to use that, yeah, but very, young players. very young players, we then take them, play through all of this. Obviously, very well resourced, and those be the kind of teams you don't want in, in the fact, Premier League. From the team from last season, yeah. 11 players left. Yes. So this is a very new team. Very new team. But, and you see, if you speak to them, they talk about, so the facilities, the training pitches, the venue where they play them football. They say they start expansion work already. It be, those be the kind of things you do love to see. As we they talk about how to book them are projects where they do. You want, when you do, when you mention a Ghanaian football club, you don't want to see you want to see the assets we then get. And the assets, it not be just the football players. You don't want facilities, training pitch, st it, not stadium. Yeah. Like massive stuff. We're not I, I talking. Like, I like the projects. ambition the company has for. Yeah, just for, something, for the club. something that says that you are forward thinking. Yeah. Something that you can own. Okay. And congratulations to them. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to 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 Samatex and the people of Samurai. We'll come there on uh, June 12th for the coronation. It should be. Nice. It should be proper soloku on the streets of Summer Boy. <laughs> it's like today some people go free to get the Shisoloku. Charlie, Danny K, thank you very much. 
Lovely to watch you, Tama Klo as well. My name is Fenty Tahir Fenty. Thanks very much for your time. Until next time, I beg, make a take care of yourself and bye bye.